Hello there guys and girls and welcome back to this online battle of Total War Room 2 This is the round 3, I am Atleta Great of course <laughs> This is the round 3 of the uh, Hellenic faction uh, The tournament uh, Against my opponent Savage Bunny from the Wolf Clan And the, the first battle he won The second we got tie 1-1 And now this is it, this is, the, uh, this is the last battle If I win, if I lose, that's it, I mean So as I, as I explained in the first uh, video, uh, this is the Hellenic factions only. We can't bring in any other than Hellenic factions. And yeah, so this one uh, I, I picked the Macedons and he went as uh, the Pontus. Now, I'm gonna go through his unit types first. So let's see here. Mercenary Sweden Horse Archers, three units here. He has Noble Blood Cavs, two units. And then we got one Eastern Archers, Mercenary Celtic Warriors, two units, and they're also upgraded with one Shamrock each. Same goes here, two units upgraded. And then uh, Bronze Shield Pikemen, like uh, three, four, five, six. Very unusual uh, unit army, but to be honest, I was expecting a little bit similar to my Pontus uh, build type since. The second battle I played as Pontus and I thought to myself he would also at least go with one chariot, uh, chariot and a little bit more uh, calories than this and to my surprise he only brought in two but then again I was really surprised that he brought in certain horse archers so then it paid off to bring in a lot of spears <laughs> you can see I have no calories at all so I got I brought in six Tura spears here in the front line and I got Mercenary Tracian Warriors, two units. Uh, one of them is uh, upgraded, and another one here as well. So that's three. And then I got uh, Tora Swordsman, three units here, and another two. So that's five. I got one Shield Bearer's General, and another one Shield Bearer here. I have Militia Hoplites, three units in the back. Yeah, this is my build type. So, as I explained, I was expecting. Um, some more calories like Cappadocian calves or you know so as I said to my surprise I didn't find any and also not, not a chariot so I was like oh shit and still though when I saw those pike units I was like okay you know what maybe maybe you can work this out anyways so all I gotta do is to be uh, careful on my flanks so he won't get that many hits with his uh, Sweden horse archers because I need to use my uh, sword units at best way as possible so I don't want them to die that quick I mean these guys if they stand still like this and you know these Syrian soldiers would aim up upon these guys th these guys will die like flies that wouldn't stand a chance so you know what I'm just gonna forward a little bit here it's like 16 minutes game you see one wally two wallies and they're already down to 114 Yep, but still good enough for me that he's wasting ammo. I mean, that's also another good thing. So I'm gonna be precautious with my tourist spears all the time. Like I'm gonna place them. You can see that he's he's trying to come around me, like in in my bag. So I'm gonna put my tourist spears like this. So I'm gonna be ready at all cost. I'm gonna allow him kill my uh, poor Trajan warriors because I need their swords. Oh wow. They throw the javelins, but there was a miss. There was no hit at all. I'm gonna fast forward a little bit more. He has all the right to stand still and be defensive because he has a uh, horse archer. So, if in case you wonder why he was he's standing still and not moving forward towards me. That's how it is in this game. If you have a defensive army, you have the right to stand still. Even though it can be kind of, you know, frustrating sometimes, but you know, that's how it is. You have to be patient. Especially when you play with a lot of pike units, you have to be really patient. And that's something I like. That's why I don't like pike units. He's trying to switch uh, sides all the time, you can see. He wants to have a lot of kills as possible. And now these uh, Eastern Archers. Did I say one? No, he has three of them. I think I said only one. I'm sorry for that if I did so. 
Well, they're knocking down a lot of my Torres Osman. I want to attack fast, you can see. And now he's pulling back. Oh wow, he's getting a lot of kills here now. Shit. I didn't notice that during the game. So my eyes were fixed upon these guys all the time like and he wants me to attack of course and then wait, where is his He doesn't even has his uh, pikes fixed. Or maybe he uh that's what that's that's the intention. I mean, he wants me to think perhaps that, you know, he forgot to put on the pikes. And then last second he's gonna put on put them on, you know, and then it's gonna you know be a really devastating upon my men. So maybe it's a smart thing to do. I don't know. So I'm not, I'm not like, you know what I'm gonna get in there. I'm gonna I gotta kill these Celtic warriors. I mean, I had enough. And he's attacking as well, which is not that clever. I wouldn't suggest you to do so because my men would totally kill these guys easily. And you can see my Torres horsemen are pursuing these guys here, but he's backing off. And let's see here now. <laughs> They're being... You can see I, I placed my like two spears in a reserve like that all the time. Because I'm afraid of those uh, horse hunters. And now you see? Now he puts on the pikes. Look. So that's why I'm pulling back. You see, that was his intention all the time. Like he wants, he wants me to think that that I don't know about his uh, tactic, but I wasn't gonna fall in for that. So basically, I gotta use my uh, javelins at all costs before killing this uh, shit, bronze shield pikeman. I mean, I am attacking him, of course. While I'm attacking him, I'm gonna b pull off again soon. You see, as soon as I see that he puts puts out his uh, pike things, I'm just gonna back off. But I will send in my military hoplites though. I mean, I don't care about them. They're cheap units. They can take the damage. You see, he wants to. He really wants to kill my Trajan warriors. He knows that these guys could do really devastating blow against any man. They, they could be really de deadly against his pike units, especially pike units. And he's also managing to kill my uh, poor Trajan warriors, I mean. So they're out of the picture. But in that process, I managed to kill also a lot of his uh, uh, noble blood cats. <clears throat> you can see how my tourist spears are coming in from all fronts. And I managed to break through this point here, so I'm just gonna get in there and hunt down his archers. And he's kind of mismicro using here. No, he's not. Sorry, I thought he was gonna. I forgot. But I was so close to uh, catch him, though. I mean, and he's pulling off. I'm killing the Celtic warriors here. As soon as I'm done with the sword units, then it's really easy for me to just hunt down uh, his remaining troops. Now I place these guys, you know, in a position like this because they're throwing the javelins, but they're being caught up with those pikes. So I'm not gonna fall in for that. I'm not gonna get killed that easily. So I'm just gonna pull back and let them use their, uh, you know, javelins at all cost. See, he's trying to aim at my soldiers at all cost. In order for him to win this battle, he needs to take care of my soldiers, and then he could uh, perhaps easily kill my two spears. So I'm gonna protect my sword units at all costs with my tourist spears in all positions like Shield bearer is down to 55 men. That's my general Wow, they're taking a lot of heat You can see it's total chaos on all fronts man. It's like really hard to catch uh, 
the best moments like you see I'm trying to pursue his calories all the time and then he's backing off and then I'm trying to pursue these guys here and even trying to catch his archers but they're too fast for me I look at it oh wow that was a nice charge from him even let his military hopeless to blink now wow so that was a really good charge yep they're out of the picture so I got only two units here left really big blow against me here and now another comes in and this guy started to blink as well what the hell and now he made a really big blunder he should not I don't know why he did that he moved out to, from this position if he would have stood still and you know keep on attacking perhaps my Torah swordsman would have you know routed so he made a huge mistake oh maybe because of these guys okay I didn't see these guys coming in <laughs> so I've sent my reserve units like oh man I need to help out my brothers here like so I see now why he moved out from the battle look at the eastern archers coming in it is down to only three calories left and they're they're taking so much damage and I'm almost about to kill his archers here uh, I don't know if they were out of ammo is that why he attacked me like that perhaps so but this battle is taking some time man seriously that's how it goes when you don't uh, bring in any uh, skirmishers or any cavalry. so yeah with the spear units it takes a huge amount of time to kill any unit at all like but except for the uh, cavalry though spears are really good against calves and now I'm about to kill these cavalry so and then he will be only down to these guys left so yeah and I'm trying to catch these archers here I just had to kill this uh, noble blood cast because they're really pain in my ass at this moment and I want to kill his uh, general but I can't just it's so damn hard to you know uh, find the right moment to kill him each time I'm trying to make a double sandwich he just moves and you know uh, fix his position so it's, it's being a little bit difficult oh wow look at look at my Trajan warriors So they, you see why the Trajan Wars are so effective against the, any pike units or, you know. So there was no uh, point at all, you know, facing him, to, you know. But his pikes are pointing this direction, so I don't know why I backed up. I shouldn't back up, like, I thought they were pointing at me, so... Anyways, nothing to fear because uh, some more men are coming in here. So I'm gonna forward a little bit faster here. Look. Wow. You might think that this Taurus Sosman should kill this uh, Brown Shield Pikeman really fast, but it doesn't look that way. It takes Actually, it takes a really long time. <laughs> I don't know if he's out of ammunition now he probably is he managed to uh, rob my, one of my Toro swordsmen though I mean eventually it's only down to his uh, horse archers and one unit of uh, eastern archers over there which I'm pursuing so yeah you can all see the uh, results here like uh, I mean you can all see the outcome of the battle he still has a lot of ammunition though, I mean it's gonna be really difficult for me to just, you know, uh, pursue him. So he's just standing still, I'm standing still, I'm like, okay, you know what, kill my man, it's fine. Like, waste your ammo, and when you're out of ammo, you ha you know you have to attack me, I mean, you can't run away. Like, there's no way you can make a draw. So I have a lot of, I have much more men than you do, and so I'm just gonna love you to kill my men with your last remaining ammos. And when you're done, you, you all know that you have to attack me, and that, that's it, as a GG. And you can see here now. 
these guys are out of ammunition and same goes for these guys and he's attacking me now and yeah all such as I mean oh man this is no point I mean uh, charging in and backing off charging in because these guys don't have any good armor not good kill uh, like sword kills like they don't have good weapon damage they're just gonna die Oh, finally, I caught up with the Eastern Archers over there. So, yeah. Anyways, it's a good game. Uh, I was happy to, you know, to go to the next round. And um, I don't know if there's quarterfinals now. Anyways, I'm going to see my opponent, who that is. A really good game uh, by my opponent, though. I mean, this was a lot of fun. And you can see his uh, bronze shield pikeman here on zero kills. But these two units did really excellently. And uh, my Trajan Warriors, 184 kills with these guys. My bronze, sh uh, sh sorry, my shield bearers did awful job. Only 13 here with the general. Man, these guys got like smoked. Uh, I guess that he is, uh, student horse archers and regular eastern archers were like aiming out towards my general. And he done so greatly that these guys um, got, you know, got, they got whacked so badly that, you know, it's just, but I'm glad that my rest of my troops didn't lose their morale and you know started to uh, chain route so it was a good thing and uh, my Taurus husband 145 each and 154 here 116 with the Taurus spears here 112 110 and uh, 41 with the military hoplites here and on his side 133 132 and 98 with the uh, Celtic warrior here he done really good job with his uh, Sweden horse arches, 118, 111, 88, 79 with the uh, Noble Blood Cats, 114 with the Eastern Archers. Alright, that's it folks. Hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, don't forget to rate and comment and subscribe if you like this. And I shall see you at the uh, uh, next round. I forgot my mm, opponent, I will see who that is. But yeah, as I said, stick around and I'll see you guys. Take care.